Hello guys, so today's we doing some the backroom level 170 and Roblox. Let's get started. Level 170 is a dry field with concrete boxes laying on the ground. The level is finite, being about 7 kilometers long and for 100 meters wide in a rectangular shape, making it one of the smallest levels with a surface area of 2.8 square kilometers. It is surrounded by a sparse forest on all sides. The surface of the level is covered in dry grass, wooden branch debris, and rarely dry bushes. The level is relatively warm, with temperatures varying between 25 C and 35 C. Level 170 has a rather confusing time cycle. When the sun sets, it instantly rises on the other side of the level, skipping the nocturnal period. An average sunrise-sunset day on level 170 lasts approximately six hours. Weather in level 170 is unaffected by the odd time cycle. The sky has been observed to change sometimes lacking clouds entirely, and other times being fully encompassed by them. Even rain was reported. The concrete is a name given to a group of structures made out of concrete that can be found laying on the ground of level 170. The individual units that comprise each structure have the same measurements of 2.5 by 2.5 by 5 meters and are made from hollow concrete slabs that are each 25 centimeters thick. They appear to be placed in random locations, yet all the slabs in level 170 face in the same direction and are lined in a grid-like fashion. It is estimated that there are about 1,000 such structures on level 170. There are approximately 900 of these blocks located on this level. This type of block does not have any special properties at all and can be found laying on the ground. They are often inhabited by colonies of deathmoths. About 100 concrete boxes belong to the type 2. They possess a property which makes them act as a cluster of interconnected portals, allowing wanderers to freely walk through them and appear on the other side of the level, which makes this level quite easy to explore. Not much is known about the reason of portal-like nature of this type of the concrete. Type to blocks are currently under the MEG. Analysis. There are three boxes located near the edge of the level that are placed in a nearly perfectly aligned shape. It has been confirmed that type 3 blocks are beneficial to human minds. Wanderers that have stood near these blocks have stated that they felt their mind to be much clearer and that it was much easier to recall distant memories when standing between these concrete structures. All wanderers proclaim that they felt very safe and in this area. Many have grown addicted to these structures' effects. Some can sit in this area for hours, as it is easy to lose the track of time there. MEG. Operatives discourage staying there for too long because there isn't enough information about this type, and it is speculated these blocks may be alive. The forest of level 170 is an area that acts as a border of the solid part of this level. Average distance from edge to edge of this section is about 15 kilometers. The more you explore this zone, the sparser the trees get. The emptier parts of the forest are infested with revioux, making it quite hard to explore this part of the level. Travelers delving into this part of the level are advised to stay alert because of the aforementioned Revuke infestation. 
Deathmas are commonly found inside some of the boxes of level 170. They make nests on the walls of these structures. Deathmas of level 170 are generally hostile, and they give off a characteristic smell. It is highly recommended to always check if the concrete box has been infested as they spit acid on the wanderers who disturb them. Reviews populate the borders of the forest of level 170, waiting for the wanderer to stand still on the ground so they can grab them by their feet. The only way to get around them is to run forward nonstop or quickly return to the start of the forest. There are currently only six known ways to enter this level. No clipping into the trees of level 39 occasionally takes you to the forest of level 170. Some of the concrete office rooms of level 81 led to the type to concrete boxes of level 170. Some of the concrete office rooms of level 81 led to the type to concrete boxes of level 170. No clipping through the concrete wall of level 162 leads to a type to concrete block in level 170. Getting lost in the hallways of level 108 results in the lost traveler entering level 170 through one of the type to concrete boxes. Backing out of the forest of level 192 leads to level 170. Entering a certain hole in the walls of level 797 leads to level 170. It is possible to enter level 10 by running deep into the forest of level 170 as it gradually progresses into level 10. However, after entering it, you wouldn't be able to return to level 170 as it would simply disappear from the sight of the wanderer for an unknown reason. This way is considered the most reliable, yet likely the most dangerous. Some of the type to concrete boxes in level 170 led to level 162. Entering through a green door found within a specific type 1 and Crete box within level 170 will cause you to enter into a B-class tunnel in level 181. Occasionally isolated Zaitz trees can appear in the forest of level 170. Climbing up said trees will sometimes transport you to the top of an identical tree in level 204. It is to be noted that the mentioned trees are extremely rare. THX guys by.